Hello everyone, this is the Breet, and I got my Tamagos in today, so I wanted to do a little video of my first impressions and opening them. So, I got the Coochie Pachi, which is white, and it's got like the little rainbows and Coochie Pachi. It looks like a bag of chips, which is really cute. He's got a funny look on his face. <laughs> Um, one thing I noticed is that the shell is pearly, and so is the blue one I got, so I'm guessing all of them are very pearly, and it's got a little plastic beaded chain, and it's got coochie patchy on here, and you can open this up, it's got like a Velcro thing here, it says, uh, coochie patchy, kind, helpful, hungry. And his favorite quote is, don't wake me up, Chi. So it shows a picture of the um, Tamago. And then shows you can unlock stuff in uh, Tama Town. Now these are some of the plates that come with the figurines that are sold separately, of course. And it shows these three figurines that you can buy separately. Now Toys R Us had these along with a couple Tamagos and I bought this one, this one, which he comes with a face plate that's not pictured. Mimetchi has that butterfly face plate and I also bought Coochie Pachi because he comes with that black and white face plate and then that's the Violetchi face plate. I got the additional Coochie Pachi figurine topper thingy because um, the one that you buy separately comes with extra stuff on it more than this one does. So, and I love Coochie Pachi. So, and then on the back shows a picture of the Tamago, and these are the figures that they have released. I'm sorry, that's my cat's wrestling. I'm really sorry. Um, that, I got that one, that one, and that one. Um, that one sold out first, was the Chama Mechi. And I didn't get the Ringachi because a lot of people had it and I saw the games and I kind of wanted to see something different. But. Yay. And this is the blue one. Shows the blue one without a face plate. Has the same face plates here and the little figures it shows you. Has Mamechi, stylish, sensitive, likes cupcakes. And her favorite quote is, dreams should always be big. And this is the blue shell, pearly. And that's her face plate. It's got little swirls on it and colors, which is cute. Also has white buttons. I'm not sure if the other Tamagos have different colored buttons. They probably don't. And there is her topper. And I think it's weird because this is the blue shell, but they decided to put a white topper with it. Like, because this one, of course, goes with the white. I just thought it was strange that they didn't put a blue bottom on her. The other thing I noticed is that this is a black plastic chain. But it's it doesn't have any, like, sheen or pearl to it. It's just, you know, like a flat black plastic. But the white one has like kind of like a f fake pearl look like you get when you go to a craft store. You can get the little strings of fake pearl decoration things. So it kind of looks like that. And this one's the same on the back except for it shows the blue one. So I'm going to try and open this white one up without destroying the packaging as much as I can. And I will be back. I just got it out of the package with... Pretty minimal damage done to the packaging. It's got this nice little hinge on it. I usually don't like these packages because if I ever want to keep them to keep the Tamagotchi nice, it's usually kind of hard. But I'm really glad they added this little hinge so I can keep it nice. Got the little instruction booklet. It somehow it is defeating me in logic. Goodness. 
thing is big. Okay. Quick start guide. I'll have to look over that in a minute. But just for a first look, got the little figurine and um, little heart connectors. Pretty cute. Pulling out the actual Tamago. Wow, this thing feels big. Wow. That is thick. It feels really big. I was I I figured that it was pretty big seeing other videos on YouTube, but it, that's pretty amazing. That is pretty thick. It's a really nice pearly sheen. I don't think that's going to show up in the video very well, especially since eh, you can kind of see it. Eh, not really. Whoops! I'm breaking it already. I told somebody the other day I'm really bad at dropping things. I've already dropped it. So we've got this little... Ah, that pops off fairly easily. But not too easy. Got the little connectors. Oh yeah, it's got a little flat bottom. So, sits up nicely on the desk. That's pretty nice. Little coochie pochie connector. I'll have to connect each one to a different... Oh, that doesn't come off very easily it seems. Well, one-handed at least. Well, I'm going to start it up here in a minute, but this is probably it for my uh, first look video, because this video I think is getting kind of long, but that's a weird little chain holder. So far, it's really pretty. Oh, let's try and get the face plate off. This is really hard to do one-handed. Oh, I hope I don't chip my nail on this thing. Ow. Okay, so that was difficult. I heard somebody else say that it wasn't, but to me that was. Then again, my nails are really weak, but wow, that was, trying to do that with your nails does not work. Or at least if you have nails like mine, it does not work. Here's the little faceplate. I was wondering if it was kind of like a cardstock, but it's not. It's It reminds me of a, a magazine page, really. Maybe a little thicker depending on what magazine you're looking at but yeah it's just it's kind of like in between a page on the inside and the cover so I, I imagine that you could use a lot of different things I know um, a lot of people are wanting to print out their own I've made a couple and posted them on Tomazone and they're also on my uh, blog so that's really cute though although you know one thing I was really curious about is how it looks without a faceplate at all Ugh. Yeah, you're gonna want a faceplate. That's kinda ugly with that one. I'm interested to try the other faceplates too, and a lot of custom ones I've seen on the internet. Snaps on fairly easily. Well, that's kind of my just on the spot first look at the Tamago. I'm going to put some batteries in it, play it a while, and I will post some videos as I get um, cute little things that pop up on it. Um, if you'd like to read more information, I have a log on Tomazone, and I also post certain things on my blog, which I will have in the description. Thanks for watching!